Lord, we come before you this afternoon, oh God. I just want to thank you, Lord, for another day. You've been so good and you've been so kind, oh God. Lord, we just want to thank you this afternoon. We thank you, Lord, for this board. We thank you for our mayor. We thank you, Lord, for the ideas you're going to give us to take West Memphis forward. Lord, let us come into agreement. Saturate our mind with your love. Fill us with your word, oh God. Cover us with your blood. Wrap us in your mercy, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now, oh God. Fill this place with your presence, oh God. Lord, Lord, let your word come forth, oh God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Lord, we bless you this evening. We bless you this evening, oh God. You continue to look on Sister Hutchison, oh God, as you heal her body, God. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory this afternoon. We bless your holy name, oh God. Look on our mayor, God, as he tried to take West Memphis forward, oh God. You look on the council member, oh God. Stir him up, oh God. Put your word down on the inside of him, oh God. Let, them, let you thank for them, God. Don't let them thank for you, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now, God. Look on our city as a whole. Cover our city with your blood, oh God. Fill it with your love. Wrap it in your mercy, oh God. Let us come into agreement, oh God. And Lord, you bless our fire department. Look on our emergency crew, God, as they go to and fro. Look on our police department, oh God. Lord, save them both departments, oh God. Cover them with your blood, oh God, as they go out, oh God. Lift them with your love, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for West Memphis, oh God. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're going to do. We rebuke the coronavirus, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory this afternoon. We give you praise because it's in your hand, God. Amen and praise God. Amen. Stand and face the flag, please. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. I call this meeting to order. Ms. City Clerk, will you call the roll, please? Yes, Mayor. Mayor McClendon. Present. City Attorney Stevenson. Here. Councilor Cat. Here. Councilor Crew. Here. Councilor Harris. Here. Councilor Holt. Here. Councilor Hutchinson. Councilor Muhammad. Present. Councilor Monday. Here. Councilor Murray. Here. Councilor Wheatley. Here. Well, the corn being present, um, eight out of nine, I guess I get to be started. Um, a week ago, we had our first council meeting of this year, and the airport approved some bids, which uh, Council McCrone step in at any time, correct me, but they approved the bids, and but it was never properly placed on our bid openings. And the procedure is that we need to uh, approve the bids and then send the bids back to the airport okay. like we know what they do. Um, can I get a motion and second to add those bids from the airport? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. aye. Opposed? It's added to the agenda. Um, now can I get a motion and second to approve the airport bids? Mm -hmm. You make a motion? You make that motion? I make a motion that we approve the airport bids. Second. second. All, uh, in discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I refer those back to the airport. Uh, do we have any corrections to the minutes? I spoke with uh, Councilman Cat. He sent his in. Were there any other corrections? Here and I can I get a motion and second to approve? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. The minutes are approved. We had no old business. It's on the turn over to the city attorney now. New business? New business. I make a motion that we read R1 and R2 by title only. Thank you. The second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's read by title only. Thank See you. the attorney. Thank you, Ms. Muhammad. Uh, this is a resolution of intent to execute a lease purchase agreement with Jaguar for the 20 acre tandem property located in the Railport Logistics Park. Of hearing that, uh, Philip Sorrell came up and gave a description of what they were doing. Can I get the motion and second to approve? So moved. Second. second. Any further discussion from that point? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ms. Clerk, when you get that resolution of number? Yes, sir. That resolution number will be 2250. 
2250. All right. City Attorney R2, which we they talked about tabling to the next uh, to Wednesday. I make a motion that we table R2 until um, we meet on Tuesday of next week and have a new council meeting to prepare proposed budget. So on Wednesday. That, that's Wednesday. The council meeting Wednesday. The the, the right. discussion. I, I thought I said that yes, meeting on Tuesday. That's the work session. The work session. And that's then the council meeting. I didn't say it right. Yes, I knew what I was saying, but I was just saying that to your satisfaction. Yeah. We're going to have a, a work session on Tuesday to discuss budget. And hopefully we can get everything together and then we'll have a city council meeting on Wednesday for passage. Did I do it right? Yes, ma'am. So yes. we're we'll tabling it until. I get a second? Second. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's tabled until Wednesday. Permission request. I need permission from the council. We already approved a grant writer position, but it was uh, approved as a uh, contract. I want to turn it into full time, to full time position. Uh, I get a motion. To second. Motion to uh, turn second. the grant writer position into a, a full, full time permanent position. Yes, sir. Second. Second. In discussion. This position now is is not going to require any woman. I think that position is already yes, yeah, already. Right, yeah. mm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All in favor, aye. Uh, uh, opposed? Permissions uh, granted. Thank you. Committee reports. Uh, I'm going to start with the Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's have a second here. The uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, Board met on January 13th and approved their annual okay. budget. Uh, the Chamber is exploring different uh, features to bring to the city's Freedom Fest and the tree lighting events to encourage the community engagement. They have updated the relocation packets and the business booklets and the printing directions are, 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 um, are compl not complete, but they're being in process. Uh, which is part of the contract with the tourist and economic development departments. Uh, Emily um, was out due to a, um, oh, she's out today due to a uh, leadership, junior leadership program, and uh, she says if anybody has any questions or suggestions, they could contact her at the chamber. That completes the uh, Chamber of Commerce report. Uh -huh. Will you want to move forward, utility? Utilities, yes, sir. West Memphis Utilities met on uh, January the 14th. The safety director, Brett Sims, reported uh, there were 65 days since the last recordable injury and 449 days since the last lost time injury. Uh, the utility currently has 11 open positions um, of 83. I don't know what percent that is, but uh, that's 83 are the budgeted positions, and they have 11 of them that are open. Uh, the quotes and permission to sell the scrap Transformers uh, was presented by General Manager Todd Peterson. He recommended the highest quote, which was Sunbelt Solomon Solutions, for a total of $7,108.50. Motion passed unanimously. And they approved the employee handbook, and that motion passed uh, unanimously. And that completes the uh, utility. Thank you, Councilman Crone. Thank you. Uh, a and P. Ms. A &P. Patricia. Yes, sir. I'm going to present the A and P uh, minutes for Council Member Monday. Um, the financial report. Jim Jackson presented the financial report, and a motion was made to pass it unanimously. On old business, Kenny Farrell slash Gateway Point. City Attorney Mike Stevenson covered the legal procedures that have been placed since before his time as city attorney. It was stated that he has been in contact with Mr. Farrell's attorney, Chris Travis. Mr. Stevenson suggested that the commission either change the procedures or keep the current ones in place. Okay. Mr. Travis pleaded his case according to his, his review of the procedures. Jim Jackson also stated the commission was not looking for a consultant at that time. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made the motion to continue using the same procedures that they have been using in the past. Um, warehouse space. Project is still being worked on. 
uh, with the square footage flags will still will, will still be in place. Sky cops are in and will be installed. Uh, a and P collections. Jim Jackson stated the individual collections report will be available soon for the commission to review. On new business, the Mississippi River Monster Catfish Tournament. This event has been sponsored in the past. The event requested a larger amount for 2021 in the amount of $10,000. Due to a lack of emotion, it fell. West Memphis Chamber of Commerce 2021. The West Memphis Chamber of Commerce contract renewal for 2021 was voted on and approved. Uh, a increase AMP form 2% to 3%. West Memphis Mayor Mark McClinton presented to the AMP a request for the commission to raise their AMP taxes from 2% to 3% to help with the Parks Department and the general fund of the city's budget. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made the motion to support the increase contingent upon the West Memphis City Council's approval. Uh, reappointment. They're asking that Dr. Scott Ferguson's term as, co as commissioner was up and requested that he be reappointed for another four-year term. Um, commissioner Mike Patel for Dr. Ferguson to be re made the motion for Dr. F Ferguson to be reappointed for the four-year term. Uh, the auditorium closure. Jim stated that with the new mandate from the governor's office on capacities, that have changed to 10 people, he has suggested to the commission that the auditorium should close for any events at least until April 1st, 2021. The commission agreed to his suggestion. That concludes the AMP report. Thank you, uh, Ms. City Clerk. Airport Commission. January the 21st of this morning, the Airport Commission meeting highlights the notice to proceed was granted January the 18th for the rehab project on hangar number three. The FAA has approved a 9010 grant for 2021 for a new beacon and for the de design phase of the North Apron rehab. That was it. Oh, it was yes. a quick meeting this morning. Mm. Uh, thank you, Councilman Wheelers. Yeah, thank you. Um, there was no other committees that met. Uh, I had no presentations, uh, announcements, I guess I'd say, this is our first council meeting, I guess, with a new president and vice president, President Biden and uh, President, yes, so, Ms. Harris, President Harris, I'm sorry, Vice President Harris, so just congratulations to them on our new president and vice president of the United States. I'd like to make a motion, if you could do I'd like to yes. make a motion that we add to the agenda to nominate Mr. Fred Leonard as city treasurer. Okay. Second. Did you um, make a motion? We got a motion to second to add the uh, Mr. Leonard for the city treasurer position. Uh, is there any discussion right now? I'm a understand the importance of having the, the treasurer slot filled because I'm doing that job. So <laughs> I might just see that happen. There was another nominee. Uh, I don't know if he still has an interest and I know about four weeks ago we opened the floor up for additional nominees. I'm anxious for this to move forward as much as anybody, but I didn't know if anybody actually submitted another resume. Um, that, was, that was my concern. Well, it's I don't only, know if there was only, anything else that was out there. Only one other person that I know that's interested in. It's supposed to be with him Tuesday. Well, I made the okay. I made the a motion but, to to um, yeah. to put Mr. Leonard on the agenda to be nominated as city treasurer. We've been doing this for months now, and I've made that motion, and, and we did get a second. So yes, now it's time to vote. Call the roll. We. Uh, can I, can I make a statement? Uh, sure. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. The uh, the initial this has been dragging on, like uh, Council Mohammed said, and and it, it really needs to be filled. And the initial candidates, we only had two that sent in resumes, and one of them has de de declined the position. So that only le left one, and that one was Fred Leonard. 
Now, we could keep dragging this thing out, but that's not fair to the council and it's not fair to anybody else. To the city. In the city, and it's the council's responsibility mm -hmm. to get a treasure in place. So right. I say we take a vote on Fred Leonard. Who, who declined the position? Can I, can I say that? Well, because I just talked to him. Suter. Actually, it's a meeting Tuesday with him. Suter did. Well, this I mean this Tuesday with him about this position. Actually, it's the council's decision. Yeah, it's, it's the council's decision. So as to who will be appointed yeah. well, but can as I say the treasurer. Sure. I think the person that applied earlier thought it was the actual finance director, not the treasurer. That's what we is that right? Yes. They thought it was. That, that's right. Mm -hmm. they were so he declined. They were, both, they were willing to do it if both of them were tied together. Yeah. Like, just like it was. Uh, this, at this point, I talked to him the other day, and he doesn't want it. This, this is also, uh, it will get council, Councilor Cat back up here with us on this council and, and uh, you know, take this responsibility off of him. And he's been doing a great job with it, don't get me wrong. But uh, Can't keep working he was elected hard. as a council person. Right. I, I would like to be sure that that other person declined because I think you know if, if, if he's interested we should consider both all right then we can make a motion who is the other person we can put both of them on the agenda okay. today well you made a motion you already made a motion in a second okay. so Miss Patricia call the roll on Fred Leonard we're calling the roll on Mr. Fred Leonard he doesn't want it he said it's not he wouldn't take it no, no, Ms. Muhammad, uh, motion. She made the motion. She, she made a motion to add to the agenda. Now we need to add it to the agenda. Yes. Did everybody say yes? Okay. So we're going to vote on whether to add uh, Frank, the nomination of Frank or appointment of Fred. Okay. Just to add it to the agenda. That's Okay. Good night. Good night. We okay. got a motion by Ms. Muhammad and a second by right. Councilman Crone mm -hmm. to add to the agenda. So all in favor, aye. aye. Opposed? All right, now, Ms. Muhammad. Now, I'd like to make a motion that we nominate Mr. Fred Leonard as city treasurer to the city of West Memphis, Arkansas. Good, second? Second. 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 All right, let me call the roll. Call the roll, Ms. City Clerk. Thank you. This is a vote to appoint Red Leonard as city treasurer. Yes. Councilor Cat. Yes. Councilor Croom. Yes. Councilor Harris. Yes. Councilor Hope. Yes. Councilor Hutchinson, absent. Councilor Muhammad. Yes. Councilor Monday. No. Councilor Murray. No. Councilor Wheeler. Yes. I mean, yes, but. Five yeses. We have one pat abstention. Mm -hmm. And we have one, two, two no's. The motion fails. Well, I would just like to say this is really ludicrous because we should have our own individual minds. This has been dragging on for so very, very long. Have any of you talked to Mr. the other gentleman to see if he really wants it? Uh -huh. We would talk to him Tuesday because he's going to meet with me Tuesday. So okay, but it's I, not your choice. I mean, it, it's not. It's, it's Ms. the city council's choice. No, that's, that's not totally accurate because I actually because I made a vote to pass that. Right. that no, I'm sorry. I do have a vote if it comes to five. I if can't person. And it was five, and I just decided until I talked right. to the other right. candidate. That, that is yeah. true if it comes to five. But we've been doing this for, what, six months or longer. And if anyone didn't want to vote for this, they should have brought somebody up before now. I think Mr. Leonard is a really good choice. I'm sure the other person is as well, and everybody has their own vote. But I would just like to say that I'm really, really disappointed in a few council members that I really trust. I am. One of them doesn't matter, but for a couple of them, I'm totally disappointed. But God knows well, best. Muhammad, I, God we, knows best. That's all I have to say. The reason I passed because we spoke and holding off everything until June. June? Yeah. 
What do you mean until June? Because that's what we agreed on. With this budget, when we passed this budget, it was the, going now that the city treasurer's position is already there, that money is there just like the city council's money is there. It's n this this is no budget change or budget increase or decrease. Just like our budget is here, he gets the same pay that we get. So that money is already there. There's no reason for a, a hold up on that. We shouldn't be using that particular monies for anything except for what is designated designated uh, for. Excuse me. So that's fine. It, we are bringing uh, uh, now, uh, now I'm going to ask a question. Are uh, we uh, appointing someone that we know and like, or are we appointing someone that has the accounting experience to be assistant to Ms. Tory Perry? Because I think if we just going to get someone to fill that role, as many business owners here that would like to do that job. I'm, I'll, I'll ask mayor, because I have to deal with this budget on a daily basis with every decision that I make, is that whomever you choose, whether it's Mr. Leonard, Mr. Sula, whomever you do, make sure that individual has the accounting or some type of accounting experience. And, right, right. and I haven't yet seen that, I guess, on Mr. Leonard's resume. Well, Mr. Leonard runs State Farm, just doesn't have agents that, that wouldn't be qualified. He is totally qualified. And as far as knowing and liking, I don't know Mr. Leonard. I do like him because I like everybody. But as far as knowing him on a personal level, if you're directing that to me, knowing and liking, the answer for me is no. We just need a city treasurer. I think he would be a good man for the job. I don't even know Mr. Souter. I, I mean, if he walked in here right now, I don't even know if that's him or not. But if you're directing that question to me, I can give you my answer from a pure heart. It's no. I do not know Mr. Leonard on a personal basis. I don't even talk to him. I may see him at a function and speak. I just know that his credentials are great. I don't even have insurance with him. But I think his credentials are really good. We all got his resume <clears throat> and had an opportunity to read it. So from that resume, we should have seen that he is most certainly qualified. And my, you know, my concern is, I, uh, I like both gentlemen, but my concern is that both should be considered, and it should be put out front for everybody to decide. Well, someone could have brought the other gentleman up even before today. Okay. The res resumes have been on, on record for months now. Someone could have brought him up even before today because brought, we, we need to go ahead and fill if, it. If he had wanted it, but he told me point blank he did not want it. Well, I, I think at this point so you I'm all you all made your vote. I just yeah, and, the vote has been made. I just wanted made to. And I just wanted to explain uh, myself. Because I, I know. Your question. I do not know. Uh, him. I mean, I know that it was brought up by the former councilman that's clerk. So I didn't know where that came from. Because I think when he made the motion, you seconded. Right. So then it came before the council. So at that point, but I mean. I like both individuals, and I know that we need uh, Ms. Tora. We're, we're welcome to help, uh, but you all made your decision, so. Let me make a statement. Actually, what we have now is the same thing we had before, uh, whenever uh, Frank was, was, was the finance director, except uh, Mr. Cat has taken that job over, to, you know, as far as his treasure to me, plus our uh, liaison to the to the office. Well, we had made a we had made a uh, an ordinance that split those jobs up, so you had two separate jobs. You did we we did that when after uh, after our, our last uh, finance slash treasure, uh, but that's what happened. We we decided to break the two jobs into two individual jobs, and we felt like there was a conflict of interest with one person doing both jobs. And I want to add this to uh, Councilman Crone. You were you absolutely correct in that statement, but you were one of the ones that was on council during the time Frank was doing both jobs, and never, never did you ever say when Frank was alive and heard that we need to split those two positions up. I think we did. I think we. No, did. I'm not. That's what I'm talking about. We. I'm talking about you. Oh, I think I did. Okay. I talked about it two or three times. Well, that's neither here nor there. We'll yeah, it's no here or there. It don't matter. We can yeah, it's okay. get some resolve and get us a city treasurer because this is a city of the first class, and we need all of our people in place. It would be the same if we didn't have a city attorney. We need everybody in their proper place. So 
I, I, like I say, in several people I am, I'm, I'm, one of them, it didn't matter, but two, I am kind of disappointed, but it's okay. I'll get over it. <laughs> Mayor Van uh, the positions were always separate. It was just held by one person. Right. There were always two salaries budgeted. Uh, but he only received I'd, like, I'd one love to get a confirmation on Tuesday whether the interest is there or not. Find out for sure. Get this right back on the Wednesday agenda to be dealt with uh, once and for all. And so I, I, we I can move forward. Right, yeah. I agree to that. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. I think that would be great. We'll put it on the agenda Wednesday so we can move forward. Thank you, Trace, uh, Councillor Katz, and thank you for voting for it. And you're doing a wonderful job. I appreciate you so much. You and I talked about it as well. All right. Any other announcements? Yes. Um, and I appreciate the comments. But in, in, and I attended the Municipal League meeting. I listened in. I do not have a municipal accounting degree. Mr. Perry and Mr. Martin have taught me what I know to this point, and it's still not enough to do that job. So regardless of who you appoint, I don't believe either one of them have a municipal accounting degree. Mm -hmm. So you'll need to possibly consider redefining that job description a little bit, giving more authority of that position to Ms. Perry and a little less authority of who you appoint because they probably don't have that degree and that's really what you need if you're going to send them to the state of Arkansas to talk about audit issues. Okay. Well, I think really when we were all elected, we had nothing, we knew nothing. And if this person, whomever it is, the other gentleman or the one that I nominated today, they'll have to go to the league and go to all the various schools and all the various meetings, like city clerk or anyone else, to become certified and, and to work for this city. And I don't know if either one of them have the degree or not. I'm not sure. I doubt seriously if they but do. But they'll, they'll have to, they're going to be required and mm -hmm. mandated to take the necessary classes to get certified, like, you know, like not, we all do. Not every treasurer in the state of Arkansas is a municipal accountant. Right. They don't have that degree. Um, I just know having a really good understanding of that is crucial to being able to really represent the council, to bring you the reports, to be able to respond and answer to your questions. I have fought through it for the last 20 years, and uh, I do not have Ms. Perry's expertise, that's for sure. She teaches me every day something. But she's probably anxious to get rid of me also. So, but again, hopefully we can get a confirmation on Tuesday, get it back on the agenda on Wednesday, and, and you know, get it finished. Thank you so much. All uh right. -huh. Uh, Jim. Jim. Mr. Mayor, I'm, maybe I'm this one, but I'm not. Y'all might have skipped over it once. She's not. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll go back up to that one. We have uh, uh, in the point, Mr. Real Point, uh, Scott Ferguson to the AMP Commission. Can I get a motion to second? Uh, I make a motion we'll be a point in the commission. Second. Uh, second. In, in discussion? Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? He's real point. Uh, last order of business is, uh, did anyone have any other, one more announcement by Tracy about the ordinance number? When the council read the handbook, you read it three times and then we realized we'd kind of gotten out of kilter with that. And ordinance number 2566 was kind of earmarked for that, but it never was approved. And when the next ordinance came up, we assigned it 2567. So 2566 has never been used because that was the number that was assigned to the handbook because it was tabled. So I'm respectfully ask the council that you table, or excuse me, you void ordinance 2566 so we can get it in the book and not bring it up at a later date after a, an older number. So I think that's probably the best way to handle it. I think that's why the Municipal League would love to see it done. We just simply void ordinance 2566. I got a motion and second to do that. In discussion. Is there any changes that can still be submitted? Changes to? Uh, changes to? Uh, the, the nepotism rule. It doesn't have anything in there. It mentions every relative you got except siblings, your brothers and sisters. You're talking about the handbook? Yeah. Um, the council, there were some changes made to that, and it was right. approved at the last meeting. 
Um, and again, it's just like any other policy you have within the city. It can be amended at any time. It have to be amended by ordinance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ordinance. Uh, okay. Just simply take it back to the personnel committee. They'll review any additions or corrections, and then bring them back to the council. Anything else? Uh, our next order of business is going to be the citizen request. This is Ms. Latoria Logan here. If you will come forward, we'll give your name and your address, and uh, the council known to give you five minutes to address them. transportation business. Um, it's going to call Lord to Live. Um, I feel like that we need another transportation going around due to the coronavirus that's coming out, well, that we have out. I feel like that I could be able to help a lot of families. The ride, um, the cost ain't but $10 to get you wherever you need to go. Or even if you don't want to get out and you know that the coronavirus comes, I have a plan where you can Text me everything you need, and I go get it, and I bring it to you, so you don't have to get out. Um, I had I I done started it already, so it's getting there, and, and a lot of people love it. So I'm just trying to make my own business out of it, and I'm trying to do it the correct way to get my license for it. Um, I got a lot of people behind me with it, so I said, you know what? Let me come up here and make my own business out of it. I'm already loving it. I got a lot of people behind me with it. And it's something that I don't love to do, and it's something that I want to do. And I was just hoping that I had y'all approval on it. So. Uh, she have she have an application in, correct? Yes, I've given all of the council members her uh, the applications. We have her background, criminal records check, and everything. But the regular procedure is she comes before you today, tells you what kind of business she wants. We are required to notify every existing transportation business that she has applied for an application. And that allows them to come back and offer any objections at the next council meeting. So no decision can be made till then. But also, if you're doing it already, you need to stop. Yes, you have a business license. We talked about that. And transporting people, because I think when we talked, you said it was going to be medical. Yes. It was, and, and I guess a taxi service is a taxi service regardless. Yeah. But if you are going to do errands and picking up groceries and stuff, that's a second license. And so we'll we'll talk about that. Yes, okay. ma'am. I just... I, I like to put it all out there. Yes, I want, yeah, I want to be honest with it. I want, you know, and I know I need y'all help to help me, so I just want to go from there. Thank you. In two weeks, be back in two weeks yes, at our next council meeting. And I'm sure you can, the council will. <laughs> I want to use over to pull my arm off of my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little scared because I wanted to cry. I don't know why. Oh, my God. I heard y'all up here. I was scared. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you. Is there anything else that the council have? No, you you fine. Thank you. The council have anything else before we finish? Hearing nothing, I'm going to motion a second to... Uh, so to John. So moved. Set. Okay, bye. 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 bye.